From a peak of over 13,000 newly confirmed COVID-19 cases a day, Wuhan had just reported one such a case in the seven days since March 18. Nationally, the Chinese mainland saw five newly locally transmitted COVID-19 cases since that day. For a world grappling with a pandemic, this is encouraging news. So, how has China made it? And what other countries can get? from the Chinese story of battling the epidemic. Welcome to Xinhua Special, I'm Mohammed Osama. For any country, it would be impossible to defeat a ferocious enemy like that, COVID-19, without strong and committed leadership. President Xi Jinping declared a people's war against the epidemic by mobilizing the whole nation, with Wuhan and Hubei as a front line of this battle. As a war, to be fought by and for the people. President Xi commanded that the lives and health of the people must always be the top priority. With President Xi as the commander-in-chief, party communities and governments at all levels act in a coordinated national response. I was very encouraged and impressed by the president's detailed knowledge of the outbreak and his personal involvement in the response. This, this was for me a very rare leadership. In his words, the measures they have taken are good, not only for China, but for the rest of the world. The strong leadership has been a key motivator in China's fight against the COVID-19 and the country's capability to mobilize its resources is evident. To ensure timely admission of patients, two hospitals with a total of 2,600 beds were built from scratch in Wuhan in about two weeks. Sixteen temporary hospitals were converted from gyms and exception centers to add 13,000 beds. Nucleic acid testing capacity was greatly boosted. Testing was made free and treatment fees were covered by the basic medical insurance. The war on the COVID-19 is a people's war in essence. People from all the walks of life have been making concerted efforts and fighting in unity. Medical workers, in particular, fight the epidemic on the front line. Some even sacrifice their own lives. To stop the virus from further spreading, hard-hit cities were sealed off, business suspended and large gatherings cancelled. Hundreds of millions of Chinese stayed at home and kept social distance for weeks. Couriers, volunteers, community workers delivered medical supplies and daily necessities to ensure people can meet their needs while stay safely at home. Science and technology are the most powerful weapon in the fight against coronavirus. To cure the disease, China has stepped on the gas to develop new type testing kits, antibody medicines, vaccines, and etc. On March 17, China said it had completed the clinical research of favipiravir, an antiviral drug that shows good clinical efficacy against the COVID-19. Traditional Chinese medicine is used in over 90% of COVID-19 patients. It has proved to be effective in the prevention, treatment, and cure. Outside research labs and hospital wards, technology is also making life easier and safer during the special times. Robots spraying disinfectants, drones taking temperatures, and QR code for medical service are of wider use in the country. Since the outbreak, China has been working closely with other countries and international organizations. After the pathogen was identified on January 7, China quickly shared the full genome sequence of the new virus. President Xi has talked over phone or by other means with the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and more than 20 foreign leaders on fighting the epidemic. Cooperation is a key word during all these exchanges. On March 17, while meeting the visiting Pakistani President Arif Elvi, President Xi said China is willing to make more contributions to preventing the spread of the epidemic worldwide. 
In a recent message to French President Emmanuel Macron, President Xi calls for building a community of common health for mankind. To help the global fight, China made a donation of 20 million US dollars to the WHO, provided masks and protective gowns to the Republic of Korea, sent testing kits to Pakistan, Japan, Iran, and the African Union, and dispatches experts to Iran, Iraq, and Italy. I also want to thank the Chinese authorities for the collaboration that they have shown with the WHO, but also with the World Bank in helping other countries as China manages to bring uh, its own epidemic under control. There are many countries that not only will benefit from the lessons that China has learned, but will also benefit from the material assistance that China can provide as it has ramped up its own capacities to produce medical equipment, protective equipment, etc. Faced with the epidemic, no country can prosper in isolation or meet all challenges on its own. It is the only choice for the global society to uphold the vision of building a community with a shared future for humanity and fight the epidemic side by side. China, a champion of this vision that was proposed by President Xi seven years ago, will do all it takes to protect its people's life and health and help win this global fight. See you next time.